taking a live look of downtown Fort Wayne. We're seeing gloomy conditions for our Saturday morning, but if you're me out and about, here's another live look at Broadway Plaza. As you can notice, we're seeing some light snow flurries moving on in into our region. See a little bit of accumulations on the side of the road, just right by the median. But on your way out, here's what your morning's commute is. We are tracking a little bit of patchy fog, some snow flurries. Not bad, but we are tracking some dense fog in areas off towards our north for Auburn and Kendallville. About four miles of visibility. Just take it slow in your morning's commute, even down towards our south. Three miles of visibility for Portland and even Marion for us. So we're seeing a little bit of fog due to that snow cover, what we're seeing. Looking at the current temperatures, it is another chilly start to our Saturday morning. We are into the upper 20s for us, but wind chill is not a factor. Winds are very calm at the moment, blowing 5 to 10 miles an hour at most from the south for us. But as we take a look at our storm track radar, we are still tracking some flurries moving on in down towards our south, even towards the summit city for us. As we take a look at our future track of what the rest of our Saturday looks like, 1 p.m. we'll continue to see light flurries, mainly cloudy skies. But as you get around about 4 p.m., especially if you're going out to weather the fort this afternoon, we'll continue to see some light scattered flurries, which is going to be splotchy all around this evening. And then we'll begin to dry out as we get through tonight. So let's take a look about what's going on. The reason why we're seeing a little bit of flurry action this morning is that we have a weak system that's quickly moving towards the east. We'll begin to dry out tonight, but it won't last long. Another chance for some wet weather will turn for tomorrow. This storm system, this warm front, will start to bring a little bit of snow flurries and snow showers early tomorrow afternoon. And then once we get into the evening, about 9 p.m., we'll start to see warmer temperatures overrun that cold air. So we'll see our wintry mix turning to rain Sunday night into Monday morning. And then we'll begin to dry out from a high pressure system, but still seeing cloudy skies. We'll see a little bit of lake effect, light drizzle showers into Monday. So let's just focus back through tomorrow. Now, as we get around about into three o'clock, we'll have cloudy skies, temperatures hovering around the freezing point, just close to it, just slightly above normal. But as we get around about five o'clock, snow chances moving on in as temperatures cool back down at the freezing point. And then as we get towards into six to seven to even eight o'clock, you can notice this, that warm front starts to overrun that colder air. We start to see some mixing and then we see more rain showers as we get around about 11 o'clock Sunday night and then trans is transitions into rain as we get into Monday morning and then drying out by afternoon. Now here's how much snowfall we could see for Sunday. Really not much, close to about one to two inches, but since we're seeing snow to rain, the rain is pretty much going to melt all the snow, so we won't really see any travel impacts for your Monday morning's commute. But here's what our winters look like so far. We've seen about below average of snowfall. We only see about 16 inches of snow. That's 11 inches below a typical normal winter. But there's more chances we could see some more snow in the future. Look at the temperature outlook for next weekend. We're going to see colder temperatures and also even wetter conditions. So chances for snow looks like they could increase for next weekend. But focusing back through today, mostly cloudy skies, scattered flurries throughout the day, temperatures hovering around the freezing point into the low 30s, overnight lows dropping back down to the teens, drying out, mostly cloudy skies for us. And as we get through tomorrow, snow chances will turn into rain showers for us. Our highs tomorrow afternoon will be into the upper 30s once that warm front moves on in. As we take a look at your extended forecast, drying out for Monday and Tuesday, temperatures stay stagnant into the 30s, and then sunshine returns for Wednesday.